Picking the right panel is critical for your project and things like location, building design, local codes and requirements, and look all factor in. Today we are taking a deep dive into the SMI inch and a half Snaplock 450 SL panel and learning about its application, installation, and when you should and shouldn't choose it for your roof. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. In this series, we look at a specific profile and discuss when you should and shouldn't use it, installation requirements, applicable engineering, and more. Our profile today is the SMI inch and a half Snaplock 450 SL standing seam profile. It's very similar to the Snaplock 450 panel, so it shares most of the same qualities. The only difference is that it has a small bump out on the male leg, which helps stiffen the rib. It's a standing seam snap lock system, which means it's installed with hidden clips and fasteners on the male leg, and the female leg snaps on to engage the panel. Sheffield recommends a maximum 16 inch panel width and a minimum of 24 gauge steel to ensure the panel has enough strength and rigidity. This panel uses approximately four and one eighth inches of material to be formed. Just like other snap lock panels, the inch and a half Snaplock 450 SL panel is a hydrokinetic system, which means it must shed water quickly to remain weather tight. To do that, it must be at a slope at or greater than a 312. Unlike the 550 Snaplock and the inch and three quarter Snaplock panels, there's no continuous lock on the 450 SL, even with the small bump out on the male leg. This means the panel's uplift pressure performance is based solely on clip spacing because the panel effectively engages by locking on the clip itself. Engineering is important because it uses actual data gathered about the exact panel profile and ensures that if you install your roof per those specifications, you're giving it the best chance possible to perform. For the SMI inch and a half Snaplock 450 SL, there's currently only a UL90 construction number available which provides a blanket test that covers several different similar panels. Do know this is not the same as having specific testing performed in a laboratory for this particular profile, and it doesn't include other tests like water penetration and air infiltration to make it a complete engineered system. This panel is also rated for class four impact resistance through UL2218 and can be used in a class A fire rated assembly via UL790 testing. For projects located in Texas, the panel holds a TDI approval when using steel over plywood, and it does qualify for the standard SMI 40-year PVDF paint warranty and Galvalume warranties. Sheffield Metals is currently working on upgrading non-engineered profiles to have engineering, so stay tuned for updates on that. This panel is a good choice for residential projects or light commercial projects, depending on building design, with slopes at or above a 312. It's good for DIY projects because it snaps together easily, and if you're looking for a commercial weather tight warranty, Sheffield Metals will offer one for this panel based on the building design and conditions. Don't use this panel over open framing at slopes below a 312 or if you have strict engineering requirements. Next, let's look at how this goes down on a roof. Make sure to follow any installation guidelines or requirements available. I've already fabricated these panels with a one inch bend at the eave and a one inch box at the top, but if you wanna learn how to do it yourself, there's a couple links in the description down below. On the deck, the panel hooks onto the eave, is pinned on the box end with a couple fasteners, and uses fixed clips on the male leg. If you're following a UL90 construction number, make sure you use a clip that's approved by that assembly. This bead of sealant prevents siphoning of water at the end of the panel. The next panel hooks onto the eave and snaps in place. It gets pinned as well, and the process repeats across the roof. The tab I left on the female leg is optional and for aesthetics only, you don't need it as far as performance goes, but sometimes it's a nice touch for the look of the roof. Because the panel is only pinned at the top and snaps in place, it can expand and contract as needed at the eave. The Sheffield Metals installation details has a great thermal movement chart that shows how much of a gap you should leave at the eave based on the panel metal, deck material, and panel length. And details for this profile are available at sheffieldmetals.com. And those details are recommended for both commercial and residential projects. Also, if you run this panel with your new tech roll forming machine, the same roller kit can run the inch and a half Snaplock 450 profile as well. This is a popular profile in the industry and it will look the same as projects that use the inch and a half Snaplock 450 panel. 
so you can use those for reference if you want to see what the Snaplock 450 SL panel looks like on a roof. If you want to know more about this panel or other panels that Sheffield Metals offers, I'll link their profile page in the description below. Comment if you have any questions, subscribe here to the Metal Briefing channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.